Hey everyone, how's it going? I uh, just have a few minutes to talk before I start my shift at Grubhub, but I've been wanting to go ahead and get the drone out for a few days, but we've had a lot of rain and snow here in the Denver area, and I um, haven't been able to get her out to stretch her wings. So today I thought I would go ahead and um, drone this really cool barn that's not too far from the place. Um, and uh, see how it goes. Here's here's the barn. And uh, yes, I am actually in a shopping center development. But uh, yeah, so that's why I decided to go ahead and drone this barn because I don't think it's going to be here much longer. All this area has been sold out to developers, and um, things are going up really really quick and who knows how long this thing's gonna be here so enjoy the footage and um, thanks for watching hey everyone um, so I debated on whether or not to share this video with you or this part of the video with you. Um, but I figured since this is a documentation of my journey, um, I need to document the mistakes as well as my successes. So uh, I don't want you to do the same thing that I just did and lose your footage. So basically, I only got 14 seconds of that barn flight. Here it is. And as you can see, I started doing a nice circle around the barn. Well, what had happened is I put it in quick shot mode and didn't realize that when I took it out of quick shot mode, that it stopped recording completely. It was starting to drift over some traffic and I didn't want to fly over cars. So I stopped it really quick, brought it a little closer and then started flying around manually. Got some great stuff, some beautiful stuff, but I'm an idiot. So here's the footage that I wanted to get, but it's actually shot on a different day. So if the lighting looks a little different, that's because it is. <laughs> 